Okay, let's leave the cabaret quite quickly. Oh, there's a little kid in the background. Niles. Who calls their kid Niles? What a bizarre name. Huh. D oh. Okay, we will solve your puzzle, little man. 101. Disappearing Act 1. Oh, these ones are quite fun. Now, this is a proper type... A proper classic puzzle. I can't remember the name of it, but, um, yes. Basically, what you've got to do is remove all of the stone. But... You've got... Basically, you've got to remove all of them but one. Now, those are the basic rules, but to solve them properly, you've got to get one ball remaining in the centre. So there's your correct solution to that to puzzle. Mwahaha! Ha. And there we have it! Of course there we have it. Peg Solitaire, that's the one. <laughs> Thank you, Niles. Right? Hmm. Very interesting. Now... Ooh, let's talk to this little girl here, Joni. Right, why is that? Right to you. Uh, you know, there's probably no vampires. This was Professor Late. No, this was Phoenix Wright, then there might it might be a vampire, but it's Professor Late, and of course it's not going to be a vampire. Might use garlic bread. Well, I'm pretty sure that um, whoever the vampire with inverted commas, I I'm trying to. Oh god, clicking like mad. I'm trying to do the sort of quotation marks around um, vampire here, but obviously you can't see it. Um, yes, I'm pretty sure that that vampire knows that. Garlic bread makes you fat. And if he didn't, then he'd probably reply, Bread makes you fat? Yes, bread makes you fat. Because of all the carbohydrates and stuff, you know? Ooh, Dawson's thirsty. This is a sticky wicket. That's quite a funny phrase, I like that. It's like, are you light of brain? That, that That's another one. I really would like to use that in a conversation somewhere. Just say, are you light of brain? I'll see if I can get it in later in the playthrough. Hee <laughs> hee. Walkthrough, I should say. It's walkthrough. Anyway, I think Dawson wants a little bit of Cayenne Twilight. Excellent. It's sort of like a spoonful of sugar makes the medicine go down. The medicine go down. The medicine go down. But it's not medicine, it's just a spoonful of sugar. Haha. <laughs> 065, the ancient map. Something to do with, um, numbers and stuff. So basically, before being there, you've got to get everything to equal something or other. I believe it's it's got to equal 10. No, it... Yes. It has to equal 10. So. Basically, everything equals 10. As you can see. So, it's basically saying, where does one reside? This should do the trick. And it's there, right in the centre. Huh. Wonderful. I think this is also the point where I start trying to explain my answers. Ha ha. So, yes. Simple as, really. Newfound hope in society. Oh, I hope that comes about too. Society these days is miserable. But, that's life. That's what all the people say. Anyway, we've got another missing fragment. Yay! Oh, there's one more to be collected. Fantastic. Now I do believe we've got to make Rory thirsty. Oh, no, we don't just yet. Yes, we are. Rubbish. <laughs> Gated by the forest. Oh, excellent. Right? Oh! That might be Katia! Well, it must be Katia! 
No. She, she doesn't look like that kind of girl, you know? I think maybe there's something a little more... Um... Sentimental about this trip. I get the feeling that there's some sort of romantic story going on here. One fellow in town claims to have seen something resembling the last of our missing photo scraps at the gate on the west edge of town. It may be gone already, but before checking anywhere else, I feel it would be prudent to visit the location he mentioned. <laughs> Woo! Absolutely fabulous. Can we give Rory a drink? No, we can't. We need the final ingredient. We need the final ingredient for her as well. Why do we need the final ingredient for everyone? It sucks. Ooh! We've solved 94 puzzles. Now, I was born in the year 1994. What a way to make everything make sense. Mwahaha. Okay, I think we're trying to get Joni thirsty here. Come on, Joni! Oh no, we're trying to get Niles thirsty. Right. Citronia fruit in everything. Okay, weird child. Very weird child. Don't worry, we'll put something in here so you won't have any trouble sleeping. In other words, we're gonna drug you and make you fall asleep. <laughs> so, it's Radiant Blend. Way! Mm mm mm. Yay! Oh, okay. Uh huh. Nothing scary is going to happen in the forest, it won't. You keep telling yourself that, kid. No, you keep telling yourself that. Yeah, okay. I think that makes sense. <laughs> Solve the puzzle. Want to play? Oh, of course! 073 Can Conundrum! Which is the one with water in it? It's A. This of should do stuff. the trick. Because <laughs> huh. it makes it slightly heavier. Four cans on each side. But because of some bizarre method of measuring. It's A. Oh, you poor kid, you think... Oh. Anyway... I think we've got to be getting to the... Oh, meanwhile elsewhere! Ooh! Interesting! Right? Right? Uh huh. It's just a box. Interesting. Oh. Oh dear, no. Tell me. Stop jumping to conclusions. You've probably screwed it up, you know. That is quite fun. Basically ruining someone's... Basically frog, frog marching someone out. Ooh! Got to give Marina a cup of tea now. Oh, we've got to cure a cold. A clover, a leaf, a... Uh, I think we've got a... Just the cup. And it is root remedy. Oh, yes, it's root remedy. Don't quite know what happened there to the. Uh, I, think I, I think I might have just sort of burped, but it didn't burp. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Yes, garlic fumes do tend to do that to people. Oh yay! I think we've found our final scrap of pi of the picture! Yay! Oh, show a little courage, Luke. Jeez.
Okay, we've got to piece it back together in another puzzle. 116, the torn photo. We're finally going to solve this mystery, you know? Oh god, I just said you know again. <laughs> Relatively simple, as with almost every single... Almost every single jigsaw ever. It's obvious which ones the corners are. And then you've just got to put things in place around them, really. It's rather simple stuff. But you've got to assemble it correctly. If you assemble it upside down, you've got to flip everything. But I think it's pretty obvious what this torn photo was a picture of. Can you guess what it is yet? That was a really bad Rolf Harris impression. That was a really bad Rolf Harris impression. I was trying to do it quieter, but it sort of just mumbled out there. So... Yes, we finally get to see what the Elysian box truly looks like. And I believe this might solve more than one mystery. Now, the thing I find quite hilarious about this is we're reassembling the photo here, but there's um, a little something that is about to happen that doesn't make sense using all of the pieces that we have just put back in. So yes, it's the easy box, obviously. No, just, just watch what happens. Something doesn't quite make sense. Oh, it's the Elysium box, you fools. It means the goat emblem. You, you see, the p picture's not quite right for what we put together. And something's just about to happen, Joy. It isn't perhaps it didn't, but <laughs> Yeah. You... Oh you silly fool. It blew away one of the photo pieces. It's a rather convenient thing. But um Yes. That hole wasn't there when we put it together, so ugh. When reconstructed, the photograph depicts the Elysian box. On the lid of the box is an ominous looking goat, which seems appropriate con given the box's sinister reputation. Because goat goats are the symbol of the devil. A large ominous symbol in the shape of a goat's head decorates the top of the Elysian box. The same symbol can be spotted in the town of Folsense. What connection exists between the box and the town? What a rather interesting little puzzle mystery thing, you know. <laughs> Reassembling the pieces of the photo revealed an image of the Elysian box sitting on its jewel encrusted it was that familiar goat emblem. Shortly after, an unfortunate gust blew away a piece of the photograph, but now that I've confirmed the image, I have no further need of the entire photo. Now I only need to discover the connection between the box and this town. Excellent. Oh! Hello, Barton. What's up, Doc? Oh! You, f you found the murderer! Oh, excellent! Hopefully, Chalmy's not made a stupid mistake, as he normally does. After all, he's made quite a number of mistakes this game so far. And I think we kind of need to um, find out what's happening. Ooh, chapter 6, The Road to Hertzen Castle. 
Having finally seen the photograph in its entirety, Luke and I were just about to return to our investigation when Constable Barton found us. Apparently the person behind Dr. Strader's death has been found and our presence is required at the hotel. I'm anxious to return to my investigation, but I suppose it's not wise to defy the authorities in a situation like this. Hmm. Quite right, Professor. <laughs>